Hi everyone, this is Ripper of Ripper Gaming, and today we're going to be going over the best settings for Sons of the Forest. And there's actually a couple different ways, depending on your preference. Um, I'm going to show you the way that I like to play, which is uh, probably the best graphical, even though it's a little bit slower. Um, and then there is the way to get the fastest uh, FPS. So it plays a little bit smoother, but it doesn't look quite as good. Um, this game supports FSR 1.0, but not 2.0, and I think that's part of it. Um, but there's also a secret setting that uh, you might have found online, but I just wanted to go ahead and put it out there in a video, that really shouldn't make the performance any better, but this one setting will make it completely different just by turning it on. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with that. So I'm going to go into these options here. And uh, if you go over to display here, you can see that I've got things set a little bit different than you might uh, uh, consider setting them. So V-Sync, I usually turn off. Right now I've got it set to 30 Hertz. You can see I'm getting around 50 frames per second, you know, close to 60 in, in certain areas. Uh, that can drop a little uh, because I'm in the more of the quality settings at this point. So let's turn off V-Sync, which should not have an effect on it but I want you to see the difference here. Look at that. Automatic slow down to 30 FPS. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, uh, but it's important for you to know that for the settings in this game. So if we go back in there, uh, if you turn it on, you think, okay, well, I'll set to 60 Hertz because that's where I want to play at. Still capped at around 30 frames per second. Uh, this may be a bug. I mean, it's the only thing I can explain it, but you can see it just doesn't play that great. So, um, by just going in there, making sure you turn VSync on and setting it down to 30 Hertz is where you're going to get your best performance. So right now I'm playing without any, any FSR on, um, and you can see it plays fairly well. I mean, we're in the fifties. I will say you get into some new areas, then you're going to see that, uh, it, it can definitely slow down some getting to the 40s or so but this gives me probably the best visual experience for the steam deck uh so i'll run down here to this rock I, I, this is a good area to kind of just look at you can see the shadows and if you get down here into uh, some of the stuff that's on the actual shore uh, then you can see the rocks how they look i mean everything looks pretty good there water looks good so let me go through these settings. The first thing is obviously the V-Sync set to 30 Hertz. Um, that doesn't work for any other game, but it's something you need to know here. So I like to play on the low preset. Um, it's, it's fairly easy. You set it to low. And the only thing I really change is I change the shadow quality to high. Um, make sure your texture resolution is on full. Uh, and then turn off anti-aliasing. You can turn it on if you want. Um, it's just that's going to slow things down a little bit more, but it's not too bad. So if you prefer it, I mean, it does look pretty good, uh, but this is really kind of up to you because if you get into some areas and it slows the game down too much for you, you might want to turn it off. Um, so let's jump back in there. Uh, and pretty the dynamic resolution is what I have off. Once you turn it on, it really doesn't look that great. Um, make sure bloom and motion blur are off all these. You can just kind of copy my settings in here. Uh, most of them kind of match the low settings. Now, you think, well, I like to play higher than low. I get you. Um, so you can change it. You know, you, you can uh, uh, change these and improve them. But I'm not going to touch them right now because I want you to see kind of how this looks uh, when we turn on FSR. So with FSR, we're going to uh, be able to turn this on. And we're going to get, uh, you know, right around 60 frame rates. Uh, but if you see things look a little bit more blurry and not as crisp, I mean, it plays fine, you know, and if you're happy with the way this looks, that's great. Um, and it is uh, more forgiving on the smaller screen. So, I mean, you might love it with FSR on and it's great. But FSR 2.0 is known for being uh, better visual quality. So I think that's what's hurting it here. I did try TAAU um, and that actually is a little bit better but still a little blurry in my opinion. Um, so that's why I just ended up going with the, um, turning off the dynamic resolution, turning off the uh, anti-aliasing, and then making sure I've got it set to low and modifying 
the uh, shadow quality because the shadow quality I think is a big deal to make it look good so in here you can see the leaves everything looks a little bit less blurry um, I'm just happier overall with the performance of this so I would say you should uh, you know play around with the settings but these are my favorite settings uh, to give me that best visual quality and playability um, so anyway I hope that you all enjoyed it if you like the video please give me a like and subscribe and uh, please give me a comment. Tell me which one of these you prefer, how you run it. Um, but uh, above all, make sure you are um, setting that V-Sync setting to 30. Because for some unknown reason, that is the best performance improvement you can get. Um, it even works on the desktop, I noticed. Uh, so so it's worth trying to change it. I think on the desktop, I've got a much higher end uh, desktop. But um, I think I had to set it to 60 hertz there. And it, and it played at 120 hertz even better. So, um, But anyway, keep that in mind. Hope you all enjoy the video. And uh, y'all have a great one. Thanks all. Bye.